morning, everybody, and welcome to Leo's Golf Channel. Thanks for joining me today as I go deeper into the Pro-T VX Launch Monitor. I'd like to go through some shot shaping today. I'll show you some of the screens and the club metrics that are produced, and then take you into GS Pro, and I'd like to show in GS Pro how well it handles some subtle shots like your flops, small chips, and of course the putting. As always, if you have any questions, just look up my email address, leo at leosgolf.com in the profile, and send me your questions. If you'd like to purchase the system, I can certainly help you put together a package that would work in your environment, and I'm happy to help. So without further ado, just sit back, relax, and let's get this video rolling. What I'll do is I'll take some shots, I'll, tr I'll attempt to try to shape them in different ways, and that way you get an idea for what the club metrics are doing when I show you the other uh, views. So I'm just, uh, just going to get some soft eight irons, nothing crazy. Try to just put them out there and then show you the shapes. So first shot of the day, <laughs> let's see what happens. So very light, only 115 yards. You see the apex appears. Carry 106, total distance 115. And uh, there's all your parameters at the bottom. I won't go through all of them, but I will switch over to the other window and I'll show you some review. And here's what you get. So you get your launch angle 19 degrees, dynamic loft at 30. As I say, the lie they're still working on. Uh, smash factor is 1.19, very light. Uh, impact height was 0.4 inches, impact width 0.6 inches. And there's the representation on the club face. Uh, over here, impact top view, 3.5 right for the launch direction, face angle 5.8 closed, swing path 1.6 out to in, and uh, wow, side spin is zero on that one. Okay, uh, top view, here's uh, an indication of how far I was off of line, and uh, your side view shows your representation of the trajectory. Uh, the actual apex is right here, 40.3 and uh, the offline amount or launch direction, uh, 3.5 degrees right as I said, and somewhere here I think is the offline, there it is here, bottom left, 5.9 yards to the right. Okay, so I'll go back to range and I'll try another one. See if I can actually get this to open up and kind of fade or slice for you, but no guarantees. back in with a, uh, a bit of a draw again. So I'll try one more before I show you screens. Let's see if I can actually get this to open up. That one's sure opened up. <laughs> so just to give you the shot representation. Club speed 73. Offline 16.2 to the left as uh, was certainly shown in the uh, in the range trajectory. Uh, very short distance again, but I get, I'm, I'm hitting them light. I just want to put them out there so you get an idea. Uh, now, I'll show you the video on this one because it's, it's excellent. You can see the club coming through. See my face opening up there to create that slice and the ball spinning away to the left. Uh, also very, very interesting. Take a look at this area here. You can see it kind of moving. You can see the compression in the uh, turf and that that's an excellent um, training tool because it's showing you hey you're coming in early you're taking way too much turf you're not coming down on the ball um, but just just fantastic video really it, it just helps your game so much all that information just seeing that look, look at the club face open as i come through strike the ball that opens up even further so lot, lots of great metrics for you here go back to range I'll hit one more and then I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll show you a few chips a couple flops maybe go into GS Pro even and show you on course uh, how that happens or how it works and uh, what the performance is like and then some putting so one more okay that's a little better I guess I'm loosening up a little bit 139 total, 128 
almost 129 carry and the apex a bit higher too on that shot I'll show you the video there it is again see this time you can see I compressed the turf a little less more at impact if anything than behind the ball club face is a little straighter ball took off a little straighter it's kind of spinning less on an axis for sure and um, let me show you the, uh, the swing view too. There's the spin on the ball. You can actually see the real ball representation. You can see the logos for the logo. Um, and I should indicate again, in case you didn't know, these are just regular balls. There's no special markings required. And uh, I don't need to put anything on the club's uh, face either, which is fantastic, uh, unlike a lot of other launch monitors. Then loft 22.8. Face angle 4.8, swing path 0.3 out to in. And one more time to show you the larger video. Just a great, great feature. Uh, they do plan on actually adding uh, integration of the software so you can add a side view and rear view camera. That'll be coming in the new year. I I'm told they're going to work on a few other things first and then that in the new year. And there's that summary view one more time. Okay, so I'm going to move on to uh, GS Pro. I'm going to load it up. Um, in fact, maybe what I'll do is I'll show you how it loads up and you get an idea for how you get, go into gaming mode from here. So you go up to settings and you go into game options here. Before I do that, I'm going to fire up GS Pro here on my laptop to the side. So just bear with me as I do that. Pick up the audio so we don't have to listen to that. Let it finish loading up. And so now what I'll do is I will reduce this window momentarily. And let back in Cortese interface. I'll go to game options. I'm going to choose GS Pro. say here don't forget to disconnect and that's just so that you can go back to using all the full metrics in the lab software when you are done with GS Pro. Okay so we can reduce this window now. And I'll just drag it over here so I can look at the uh, swing parameters if I want to. We can bring them back across. And I'll just pick, uh, uh, excuse me, I'll just pick a um, a course that we can play as practice, maybe Albacoa here. I've got uh, auto putt set at 5, stimp at 10, putting normal. I give myself lots of mulligans when I play. Uh, fairway firm, green normal, a little bit of breeze. So we'll launch that. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zero in. I'll, I'll use the 8 iron again to get us onto the green. We'll bring it up close and then we'll do some chipping. Okay, so I'll take this closer to the green. Great feature of GS Pro, you can practice on the course. I'm just going to land the ball somewhere around there. It's 104. I need a bit more distance than that. I'm going to hit an 8 unless I go back to a wedge or something. Yeah, let's go back a bit further. Okay, that's pushing the limits for me for an 8 iron, typically. See a bit of wind up here at 8 miles per hour, so I'm going to aim a little to the left. I tend to uh, draw the ball anyway a bit in, so let's see what happens here. Okay, we'll take it. I think it's going to squeak onto the green. Very, very close anyway. Nope, just shy. Okay, so I'll hit one more. Uh, I'm going to move up to the green anyway and uh, do a chip shot simulation from about that spot. So I'll hit one more. This one I haven't uh, changed the aim. It's right at the flag, so I'll probably wind up right. Let's see if I can maybe move it left myself. Nope, straight. Okay. That will make it on, I think. Just. 
<laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's do one more. That's going to be right. Okay, these are all just outside the green, which is good because I want to show you chipping anyway. So I'm going to simulate moving up to those spots. So we'll move the ball to the side of the green like that last shot somewhere around here. And I'm going to show you a few different, uh, few different shots here. Get the balls out of the way. So the first one I'll try to uh, just hit a bit of a flop chip or flop and uh, show you how well that works. 13 yards, so I'm going to try to hit this 8 or 9, something like that. See what happens. See that launch it was very, very high and launch monitor picked it up no problem. We'll do another one. It's loftier, but softer. Okay, so you see it works really, really well. I'm going to run one up now, try to close the face a little bit with this club. I should be switching, but I'll just try to close the face a bit. And now when I'm running up, it's working really, really well. Okay, now these are difficult shots for launch monitors too. I'm going to move back and hit one from further back. See, I'm in trouble over here, 45 yards. That's a pretty good one. I'm really going to put this up in the air and give you an idea as to uh, what happens with these shots. So 44 yards, not sure where this is going to land, but I, I will get it up the air with some energy. So you can see it's working. Not a great shot, but what I really wanted to demonstrate was how it can pick up those really high lofted shots, and that one actually had some velocity. One more, see if I can get a bit closer. Maybe, maybe not. Not the greatest, but okay. All right, so let's move on to putting. So now, within game putting, you can do, uh, you're aiming two different ways. You can aim yourself, just like you would on the course push the ball left or right on the surface. Or you can do in-game betting where you select a, a spot on the screen. I'm gonna do this one manually. I'm gonna putt this supposed 23 footer with a stint of 10 up six inches. So I'm gonna purposely uh, putt to the right and see if it curls back towards the cup and how close we get it. Let's see. Not bad. Try one more. And then I'll do it with the aim or in game aiming. That's a bit hotter. Not bad. Okay, so if you're aiming in game, you come over here, click on the screen, or I have this device on the floor here where I can uh, kind of aim manually if I want to. It's got all my hotkeys plus a uh, joystick so I can move around the course when I need to. I'm going to hit a little closer. I don't think it needs that much break. And now the idea would be since you've aimed manually, you would just hit a dead straight putt towards the screen the distance that you think it needs to go. So given the stamp of my surface here, I'm aiming for about 18 feet, even though it is six inches uphill, maybe, maybe a little longer, 18, 19 feet. That's pretty good. Okay, so there you have it. Um, a really good demonstration of some shot shaping. Although my shot making wasn't too fantastic, I think you did get an idea as to uh, how the launch monitor performs. Certainly with the chipping, a few demo shots of flops, uh, a little bit of your standard you know, pitch and run, 
and of course the putting all working fantastically works within gs pro tgc 2019 and e6 golf if you are interested in a system i would love to help you out i can certainly help you make it to work really well in your environment just contact me leo at leosgolf.com and i'll be glad to help you out but for now thanks for watching this video and we'll see you again soon